Hi, today I'm going to show you how to create DCF topics in Bonsai. Now, there's something that I was struggling with for quite some time in the past because, um, well, we need to have topics, right? We need to use BCF. I create uh, a lot of IDS um, specifications in uh, Akka, and then I check them in Bonsai. And when I check them, I get an HTML report that says what's wrong. And for myself, that's fine. But if I want to communicate that with somebody else, I need to communicate that with uh, something that they can use. And that's where BCF comes in. Because BCF, it's, well, it's BIM collaboration format, an international standard by building smart. So, and we can use that. And we're using that for, uh, for over 10 years now. So that's, that's really good. Um, but the functionality in Bonsai is not quite clear uh, for, for me. Well, at the moment, now it is. Um, and there is room for improvement. But for now, I'm going to show you what I know. All right. So this is a little model um, where I can show you this wall. And what you can see that this is a standard wall. And standard is deprecated in IFC 4x3. So I don't want that in my model. Let's just create an IDS to check for these walls. And we're going to uh, see how we can find, uh, how we can communicate that. So here, all the wall doesn't really matter at the moment. I don't think I'm going to bother with all these data because, well, it, of course it's important, but not at the moment uh, for this uh, showcase. So IFC 4X3, new specification, it's all fine for now. So for the applicability, I'm going to uh, check for these walls. And these walls have a name that starts with 22. So that's something that I'm going to use. Uh, so the attribute name should have a value and it's the pattern and I'm going to fire up the wizard it should start with 22 and then the regular expression is 22 dot asterisk so we're going to add it here so this is the applicability now what do I want to know from that I need to have I want this to be a IFC wall with predefined type partitioning. So that's that. Um, it's valid and we're going to download it. So um, as you know, maybe I'm not sure. Uh, you can run um, specifications from Blender either by uh, selecting the IFC file and the IDS. But in order to uh, create a correct uh, topic BCF, I need to have a viewpoint and I need to have the elements selected. So we're going to need to open the IFC project. And that's uh, this model. If I press home, it's like a zoom extends. And I'm going to quality coordination IFC tester load from memory because it's already here. I do generate the HTML file and I'm going to select the file I have just created and execute the IFC tester. And this is the result that I get. All the walls um, should be IFC wall partitioning, and they are not because they are standard. So let's see how we can communicate that. Now there is a button, export BCF. If I select that and I go to, I'll just put it here and I'm going to overwrite that for now. 
Um, let's see what happens. If I open IFC and BIM Club, I can select the BCF file and this is what I get. I get 14 topics without any viewpoint. If I double click, the issue has no viewpoint to zoom to and that's exactly what I want. I mean, I can edit this uh, topic and I can see what it is. The predefined types does not meet the requirement, which is good because this is something uh, that I need to know. But here we have the GUID and the tag element ID. So I can find it, but it's not really uh, convenient. And also it doesn't comply actually to the to the BCF. So um, what we have done in the Netherlands actually uh, is create a um, a use case for BIM communication. And this is a, a like an infographic. Uh, and this infographic explains what what and why BCF is. Why do you need it? How can you communicate? Um, I think you should read it. Just go to ucm at buildingsmart.org and search for BCF and you will find it. Um, so here are some of the uh, important things that you need to do. So every issue, a topic uh, should have a name. It should have a description uh, and the status. Is it open or not? Is it closed? Is it resolved? And responsibility. Somebody should... Uh, fix it. The relevant and visible objects should be added to it uh, and we need to have an image. So if you see the topic, you sh should understand what it, it is about. And of course you can start commenting, but well, it's not a chat box, so let's not do that too much. Um, so this is a really useful infographic and I advise you to use it. Um, but I don't have a viewpoint, I don't have elements. And that's that's something that's most important for me. So, so how can we do that? Well, by um, running the specification, you can see here that this is the specification I have created. And these are the uh, conflicts, the mistakes. I can select them and here they are. So if I want to isolate that, I can say Shift H, which is hit hide inverted. And now I have the all the elements selected. I press Shift H to create a camera. And now they are not selected anymore. That's what I need to do, because if I go to camera view, I don't see anything. But here view um, align view, align active camera to selected. All the selected elements are now cropped into the camera view. And that's what I really need. So this was the tester. So this was the uh, check and collaboration. Let's go to BCF project and create a new project. Now, the software that I use is BIM Club, Zoom, and Revit, and they don't support uh, BCF 3.0 yet. So it doesn't. What I'm showing doesn't didn't work in three. So we're going to go back to 2.1 and create a new project that is just called a new project for the moment. Um, and here are all my topics. So I can add one, and I can actually double click and say name the topic walls are wrong edit and here is a description um, what I like to do is just go to the HTML report and say let's just We paste the requirements, so then you have a good description of what it should be. And maybe add 
elements shall be IFC wall data of partitioning. Now this is my viewpoint, so I can click on plus to add the current viewpoint. And then there are what I just showed you, like the type. Now the type is issue or topic or mistake or whatever. Status is active. And what I didn't find out yet is, and what I really like to know, is this is, there's this box here and it says no results found. So I was thinking this, is this some predefined uh, setting? Is there a JSON file or a text file that I can add? So I can actually choose between uh, what I want. Because if I go to uh, another issue here, um, if I create one, I have a list, uh, failure, fault, inquiry, issue, and the same for the priority. And also for uh, for labels like architecture and what else? Um, yeah, assign to, let's copy paste this real quick because I can use it. Um, Anyway, I would like to know if if this is a preset that I can use because that would be very useful. Because even uh, if I create a new one, I can still not choose between uh, the one I previously added. Priority is high, of course. Stage assigned to, well, let's assign it to myself. Due date. This is also something, the date, uh, I try to add whatever I want, but the date should actually be uh, determined like this, 2025, or if you don't add it, that's also fine. Uh, well, it's not fine for uh, the topic, but it's fine for your test. 21, then I need to have the time, so you can skip that if you want. But, no, you cannot skip the, the T uh, with the time, but you could also just do zero zero, and then uh, this is actually the the format that you need to use. Um, enter. So that's that, and we could still add comments, but I'm not going to do that right now. Um, and some other things is no so let's just stick with this so i'm going to save the project as walls from bonsai Dot .bcf. If I don't add the, if I don't type in the dot .bcf, it's not recorded as a .bcf. You still have to rename and add the uh, extension to it. So let's open the .bcf file, and this is what I like. I have a viewpoint. If I double click. The elements that are in the viewpoint are selected, and here they are. Now I can edit the the title. Um, where is the description? Oh, wait. Uh, I think I should have done this first. <laughs> Save the current. Let's see if it's because these are all undefined. So I should have uh, did that. Yeah, now you can see the description is here, assigned to, it's an issue. This is the deadline today, of course, because the priority is high. So that's how you do it. And the thing is, if you would um, select something else in the model, let's just go to Alt-H to s save everything again. 
because of course it doesn't have to be uh, from a specification. So this uh, balustrade, shift H to repeat. But this was the view point. I'm going to view a line view and there is a there is no uh, shortcut but you can say change shortcut add shortcut to it so i added the shortcut i think it's an important command and now this is the new viewpoint and i can add a new topic and the topic is about the railing Enter, never forget the enter. Edit. Uh, a nice railing. Because you know, ECF topics doesn't always have to be about mistakes. And you can see that I don't have to create a new uh, camera viewpoint for every topic I'm creating because now I just add this one to it and it's the same viewpoint. So it just records the uh, viewpoint, the camera view as a screenshot. Uh, the type type is, uh, huh, let's just call this a compliment. Status is active priority low to myself and of course I could do a date but I'm not going to do that right now like that save the current because it's open and there are two so this is great this is what I wanted and since I use Revit, I can show you how it works with the BCF manager as well. In Revit, I can open the BCF and I usually select these things like that. I don't double click. I go to the info and select these walls. isolate them and now I have all the elements that are related to this topic and I could simply well it's a type so I could simply change this one to an IFC wall partitioning And that's it. So I uh, hope that you were looking for this information as well, that I helped you. And I also hope that somebody knows or could tell me how I can actually get these uh, things into a pull down where I could select uh, something that is predefined. Because especially with the the status and selecting something is a lot easier because what you saw that I couldn't even select the ones that were that I already uh, added in this one. That was something I maybe uh, thought would be possible, but still it's not. So that will be a good improvement. Uh, but for now, uh, I'm happy that I found out how it works. So use it in your own advantage and Thanks for watching.